Hi, I'm Linda, and welcome to Introvert Outdoors. Day two of my sabbatical was the visit to the Manhattan uh, Project uh, Park at the B Reactor at Hanford. To go on a bus tour uh, to get there, so your first stop is the visitor center, uh, which is a great little place. Uh, they have some exhibits uh, on kind of the general uh, atmosphere of the times in the 40s uh, when this was built, and uh, it's a good place to wait while you're uh, waiting for the bus to arrive. The driver of the bus is also one of the docents, uh, so they're very knowledgeable uh, about all things Hanford and gives you a, a nice uh, background story as you drive there. About a 40 minute drive. That is the original big reactor water pumping plant that provided the cooling water, what was known as a radiologically controlled facility because there are several areas off of the tour path that will have some contamination. There is no radioactivity on the tour path and the facility is diligently monitored to ensure worker and visitor safety. But that safety. phone showed up on my we phone. We also have some areas that are posed as fixed contaminate, contamination areas. That means we have removed as much of the contamination as possible and the area is sealed over with heavy coats of paint to prevent possible spread. Please be assured that the reactor tour is safe for the public. Feel free, free to ask the reactor staff questions you may have and enjoy your tour.
all in all, they did a really good job of educating um, how this worked and um, the process involved. One of the things that struck me, too, uh, was the smell in there. Um, it was that 1950s industrial electronic smell, um, which was very familiar to me as I visited my dad often in the physics lab at the university where he worked growing up. Old school cooling system there. One of the other things that uh, it got me thinking about was um, all the contamination that happened as a result. Um, and that cleanup of that contamination continues to this day. thing was just massive. Just massive. More of the old school electric equipment. Nothing digital here. All in all, it was an extremely informative and fascinating visit. It got me thinking about the scientific achievements, the environmental impact, and also the ethical question of uh, dropping a bomb uh, on a population. Uh, all three were very strong emotions and things to think about. The bus will be in 10 minutes. The bus will be in 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be do sharing more of my sabbatical. This was September of 2019. And uh, hit that like button if you liked it, and share and subscribe. Thanks again.